Hey there, viewers! 10 Pre-Diabetes Symptoms You Should Be Aware Of and How to Reverse It What does pre-diabetes mean? Pre-diabetes means you have higher than normal blood sugar levels. Unmanaged pre-diabetes can lead to type 2 diabetes. Pre-diabetes doesn't always have symptoms, so it's important to get blood sugar levels tested, especially if you're at high risk. In this video, we will talk about the ways to reverse pre-diabetes, such as by losing weight, exercising regularly, and eating healthy. Want to know more? Keep on watching. Number 1. Frequent Urination Too much sugar in your blood is extremely taxing on the kidneys, which will work to process that sugar. When the kidneys aren't up to the job, much of that glucose is eliminated from the body through your urine. This process also flushes out valuable hydrating fluids from your body often leaving people with diabetes, peeing frequently, as well as dehydrated. How to Reverse It Diet and Blood Sugar Monitoring You need to be keenly aware of what you eat while keeping a close eye on blood sugar levels, ensuring they don't get too high or too low. Exercise Regular exercise can increase insulin sensitivity in your cells and promote the absorption of glucose for energy. Insulin Injections Depending on the type and severity of diabetes, you may need regular insulin injections or a pump. Number 2. Extreme Thirst Thirst and having to urinate too often are both caused by too much sugar or glucose in your blood. The kidneys need to make more urine to help pass the extra sugar from your body. You will likely have to urinate more and have a higher volume of urine. This uses up more of the water in your body. Water is even pulled from your tissues to help get rid of the extra sugar. This can make you feel very thirsty because you're losing lots of water. How to Reverse It Medications to Control Blood Sugar Different types of diabetes call for different treatments. Weight Loss If you're obese, very overweight, and have pre-diabetic type 2 signs, you might consider weight loss surgery. It can help you lose a lot of weight, get to a normal blood sugar level, and possibly ditch your diabetes medicine. Number 3. Frequent Hunger While everyone has cravings from time to time, and certainly everyone can feel hungry, the experience of frequent hunger is separate from normal hunger cues. Frequent hunger is a pre-diabetic symptom that is not the same as binge eating. It makes a person feel constantly hungry whether or not they eat or how much they eat. It does not have to have a mental or emotional component. It can simply be the physical sensation of hunger. How to reverse it Check your blood sugar. If it is low, eat quick sugar carbohydrates to bring it up. Eat high fiber, low carbohydrate foods. Drink plenty of water. Eat a high protein breakfast. Keep food interesting with a variety of tastes, herbs, and spices. Distract yourself while having a craving. Go on a walk, take a shower, do an activity you enjoy. Manage your stress levels and watch for signs of mental health struggles, such as depression or anxiety, which can lead to emotional eating. Keep healthy snacks easily accessible. Number 4. Nerve Pain or Numbness Nerve pain or numbness can affect different bodily functions. This can affect the peripheral nervous system and symptoms commonly appear in the arms, hands, legs, and feet. How to Reverse It Maintaining a Healthy Weight Excess weight and reduced insulin sensitivity, which increases the risk of high blood sugar levels and in time nerve damage. Avoiding or Quitting Smoking Smoking damages the walls of the arteries, causing fat to build up, narrowing blood vessels and impeding circulation. Poor circulation contributes to neuropathy. Smoking also increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, which can lead to a stroke or heart attack. In addition, it may worsen insulin resistance. Number 5. Wounds are healing slowly Although cuts, grazes, scratches, and blisters can occur anywhere on the body, the feet are one of the most common places of injury. A small wound on the foot can quickly develop into a foot ulcer. Foot ulcers can become serious if left untreated. Between 14 and 24% of people who have diabetes and develop an ulcer will end up having a lower limb amputation. For this reason, it's crucial that you do regular self-checks and closely monitor any wounds. Your blood sugar level is the main factor in how quickly your wound will heal. When your blood sugar level is higher than normal, it prevents nutrients and oxygen from energizing cells, 
protect your immune system from functioning efficiently and increases inflammation in your body cells. How to reverse it? Do regular self-checks. Make sure you do daily self-checks and look for new wounds, especially on your feet. Remove dead tissue. This can promote bacteria and toxins and increase wound infection. It can also prevent you from being able to inspect the underlying tissue. Keep dressings fresh. Regularly changing dressings can help reduce bacteria and maintain appropriate moisture levels in the wound. Keep pressure off the area. Pressure can cause wear and tear that damages the skin and leads to a deeper wound or ulcer. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Number 6. Blurred Vision Blurriness happens for a different reason. In a person who already has diabetes, fluid can move into and out of the eye due to high blood sugar levels. This can cause the lens of the eye to swell. As the shape changes, blurriness results because the lens is the part that focuses light onto the back of the eye. This short-term issue tends to resolve when blood sugar levels fall. Diabetes can also cause short-term blurriness if blood sugar levels fall too low. How to reverse it For people who take medication to increase insulin in the body, changing the timing of food or a change in activity levels can result in low blood sugar levels. Blurriness from low blood sugar does not result from changes in the eye. Instead, it is due to the way hypoglycemia affects the brain. A vision that changes in this way will return to normal after glucose levels return to normal. Number 7. Diabetic Dermopathy Diabetes, particularly poorly controlled diabetes, can affect the skin in many ways. Diabetic dermopathy is a term used to describe the small brownish spots on the skin, particularly in front of the legs. The patient usually does not develop any symptoms due to these skin spots, and these occur in about 55% of patients with diabetes. It is more common in older patients with long-standing diabetes. The skin changes happen due to a decrease in the blood circulation to the skin due to diabetes. How to reverse it? Good diabetes control in patients with diabetic dermopathy can reduce the risk of other complications of diabetes. Number 8. Frequent Infections People with diabetes are more adversely affected when they get an infection than someone without the disease because they have weakened immune defenses in diabetes. How to Reverse It One of the most important things that you can do to avoid infections is to practice careful foot care. Meticulous foot and skin care are needed to ensure that minor cuts and scrapes do not turn into ulcerated infections that can migrate into the bloodstream and cause major problems. Also, good urinary hygiene, especially for women, can help minimize the possibility of developing urinary tract infections. Number 9. Itchy Skin Itching is often a symptom of diabetic polyneuropathy, which is a condition that develops when diabetes leads to nerve damage. Certain skin conditions that develop as a result of diabetes may also cause itchy skin. Dry, irritated, or itchy skin is more likely to become infected, and people with diabetes may not be able to fight off infections as successfully as those who do not have the condition. How to reverse it Manage diabetes carefully and prevent blood sugar levels from becoming too high. Avoid taking very hot baths. Hot water can remove moisture from the skin. Number 10. Dry Mouth If you're having dry mouth problems which are common in diabetics, but not exclusive to diabetics, you may notice that your mouth feels sticky. You might also have bad breath whether you're aware of it or not. Mouth sores, cracked lips, especially at the corners, and dry throat may also occur. How to Reverse It Wearing compression socks that ease health problems such as swelling and discomfort from deep vein thrombosis, and many take pills or insulin injections to regulate their blood levels, can lessen the dryness of the mouth. Drinking plenty of pure water should be very helpful. You may also want to use sugar-free mouthwashes, mints, and gums to stimulate the production of saliva. Let us know what you want to learn about next by commenting below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.